dandy knife will handy. It's like, ha, uh, and ha. Uh. Oh, yeah. So we're about to take the old springs, pop the old springs off, get it rolling, get ready to go. Now, we gotta pull this brake line off, the ABS sensor line, this just comes right off. Nice slide on piece. Really like that one forward, just pulls right out. This is some sort of, sort of little circlip. We're gonna try our best not to break it. The orientation of these bolts, you want the nut facing forward on the side, and then I believe it's backwards on the other side of the car. So that's very important, it says right in the instructions. Yeah. Six bolts, once you got the wheels off, uh, on the fronts. The backs are even easier from the right here, but we'll find out. Here's your brake line off. So yeah, that's gonna be this bolt right here. I'm gonna take a through socket to it, and an Allen key to get that one off. Apparently this bolt right here can be the most pain in the ass bolt on the entire project, so. This guy right here is a five metric. It might look like a 316, but the five seems to fit a lot better than mine. Uh, it's still not absolutely perfect, but that's how all those Allen keys are. There's always a little bit of slop in them. By the way, that's a much better method. All right, so then this is an 18 mil on the outside. And uh, once the other one starts spinning, you know. We got the jack underneath right now to make sure that this doesn't fall. Now we're gonna head up top, pull out the uh, remaining bolts on these. And if you can see, this actually twists real nice. So, yeah, definitely cool bearing design on the top. Careful for your ABS sensor wire. Uh, the two 10 mils. Uh, I can tell you it is gonna be really, really tight and it looks like it's gonna be just a regular ratchet expander. So, really gonna not want to drop these bolts. Um, they're gonna be pretty in there. So then that's out of the way. There's that little fucking bastard uh, giving us all the trouble. Top is gonna be a 13. So on the very back one, I ended up just getting an open end on there. And uh, spinning her. Not easy, but it works. Stock boy out. On the opposite side, the process is relatively the same, except for all you need to move is this little bracket line right here. So you just take this 10 mil nut right here, pop her off. Right, so the first step here is gonna be remove 
this spring assembly right here. So that's what we've got this for. Crafty tool pops on. I don't know how they do all this and that, but <laughs> science! But yeah, should drop my bride height in the front about an inch, so hopefully they're not lying to me. Insulation is gonna be the reverse of removal. Well, let me get back in now. If you have two sets of springs, like myself, if you want to do like summer and winter mode, remember to match the orientation of the NVH device right there, um, and that'll help you get everything lined up perfectly. Right there. Put in the holes. Put in the holes. All right. Shove her in the hole at the top, and I'll, I'll hold her in. Watch out for that ABS line. This is gonna go out of the way. The clips on. I got the bolts ready. See these guys, you're gonna to wanna to spin the front one, and the front one needs to be the actual raw nut end. You're gonna to try to keep the other one stable, just to not screw up the threads. When you're doing this install, make sure you don't use a close-ended wrench on there. You're gonna to have to cut it off like me. I can explain more later, but it was pretty bad. Up. I don't really feel like dealing with it. So we're just going to cut it off. There is a lesson to be learned from this. Don't use closed ended wrench on that and then tighten it all the way down because you're not going to be able to get it off. You're going to have to cut it off. It's not going to be fun. So don't do that. Use the proper tool. Alright, so I'm attempting to do this without taking the rear wheels off. Uh, I should be able to just pull this bolt out right here. Uh, and then on the other side, I already got that bolt out. You can see. Yeah, and then you're gonna wanna support this because um, this will just drop down without that there. So yeah, definitely wanna do that. There is a guy out there that says that this is a 30 to 45 minute job to an hour. Eh, maybe with two people, maybe with two people. I just wanna let you know that if you do it the method that I just said, the springs will literally fall out. Um, makes you definitely want that jack underneath. Um, your brake lines are probably gonna get, see how everything's loose, and I can. Oh, oh. Yeah, you don't wanna put any tension on the brake lines. So that method actually worked completely perfectly. I got the springs on that side. I got the ones over there as well. Didn't even have to take off the back tires. Just basically pop these bolts out with it jacked up. Use this to jack it up. Got it on jack stands over there and there. But yeah, don't even need to take the back tires off to do this one. And uh, just basically seat them in there. The orientation, there's an arrow on the bottom one. The top one's got a notch it goes into. Uh, I'm talking about the little rubber gasket things that are on the spring. But yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad.